Around 60 to 80 percent of people with type 2 diabetes are overweight or obese and sadly even children are increasingly affected largely due to rising obesity rates. But here is something most people don't realize. Type 2 diabetes is not always permanent. In many cases it can actually be reversed. So the question is, is there real evidence to support this? Let's find out. Hello, this is Trilok. I'm a dietitian. In the last video, we explored how losing fat, especially the visceral fat, can help reverse type 2 diabetes. In today's video, I want to show you the evidence behind that claim. Okay, where do we see the most rapid weight loss? We see it in patients who undergo bariatric surgery, also called metabolic surgery or weight loss surgery. There are two main types of bariatric surgeries. Sleeve gastrectomy, where 70-80% to 80 of the stomach is removed, leading to significant calorie restriction. Gastric bypass, where the stomach is reduced in size and also the first 100-150 to 150 cm of the small intestine is bypassed, which reduces both calorie absorption and intake. After surgery, patients typically consume very low calories, often less than 800 kilocalories per day and they lose significant amount of weight in just a few weeks. One of the first types of fat to disappear is visceral fat, the fat that is stored in and around the organs. This rapid fat loss improves insulin sensitivity by reducing liver fat, which restores insulin's ability to suppress glucose production in the liver. By reducing pancreatic fat, which improves beta cell function, means improved insulin production. By reducing muscle fat, glucose uptake is improved. As a result, glucose levels return to normal in just a few weeks for many patients. In one study, 81% of patients had their diabetes in remission one year after sleeve gastrectomy. Other large studies report 50-70% to 70 remission depending on diabetes duration, weight loss and insulin reserves. If they regain their weight back, the diabetes often returns. But as long as the weight loss is maintained, diabetes stays in remission for years or even permanently. The key point here is, the scientific data shows that fat loss, whether through surgery or diet, can reverse type 2 diabetes. If you are a diabetic and are watching this video, you might ask, forget about everyone else, if I lose fat, will my diabetes go away? Well, that depends on three key factors. The duration of your diabetes, how much insulin your pancreas can still produce, and is there an immune system involvement? In about 10% of people diagnosed as type 2 diabetics, especially in younger adults, the cause is autoimmune, not just insulin resistance. This is called latent autoimmune diabetes in adults. Due to a combination of genetic and environmental factors, the immune system can mistakenly attack the pancreas, damaging the beta cells over time. Eventually, they may need to be treated with insulin, as their insulin production becomes insufficient. Actually, there are ways to check if your diabetes is purely because of insulin resistance or if there is an immune system involvement. You can test for islet cell antibodies and GAD antibodies. If positive, it means there is immune system involvement and your diabetes needs special attention with medical care, autoimmune support and a healthy diet and weight management. In 90% of people with type 2 diabetes, there is no immune system involvement. Their pancreas is making 2 to 3 times more insulin to overcome insulin resistance. Eventually, this leads to beta cell exhaustion. According to a 2020 article in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, beta cell function declines by about 4-5% to 5 per year in diabetics, even with treatment. You can check how well your pancreas is still producing insulin by doing a fasting insulin and C-peptide test, followed by another sample one hour after drinking a 75 grams glucose solution. If you are on insulin treatment, it needs to be stopped for 24 hours before this test. So discuss with your doctor on how to plan the test. Here is how to interpret the results. Low levels means pancreas is likely worn out, weight loss may help, but medications or insulin are often still needed. Normal or high levels means pancreas is working well and weight loss alone can completely reverse your diabetes. Now, you know that diabetes is reversible. So, if you are not trying to lose fat, you are heading into deeper trouble. Without action, your beta cells continue to decline and high blood sugars damage the blood vessels throughout the body.
accelerating the risk for heart disease, stroke and kidney disease. Start today. Make a diet plan. Cut out all fried food, sugar, sweets and excessive fats. You don't have to give them up completely. Enjoy them occasionally. Manage your cravings. Find healthy alternatives. Once you are consistent, the new diet becomes a habit. Talk to your family. Your spouse or parents will likely support you. Make an exercise plan. 30 to 40 minutes of cardio. 10 to 15 minutes of strength training 5 times a week. You can place your phone or a tab on the treadmill. Watch your favorite show while you are doing cardio. And whenever your phone call lasts more than 10 minutes, keep walking. Also, make sure you are getting 40 to 45 grams of protein and essential vitamins and minerals to avoid any nutritional deficiencies during weight loss. You can also watch my video on reversing diabetes naturally where I explain insulin resistance and give you a full dietary guide. Keep your doctor informed so that they can adjust the medications as you lose weight and your sugar levels improve. If this video helped you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching Nutritional Perspective. I'll see you in the next video.